every physics lab has an ammeter. So as long as we have an ammeter, we can measure current. And this is why we want to figure out how the magnetic flux relates to the current in a solenoid. Uh, notice that we have a solenoid is just another name for a coil. We have yet another name for that today, an inductor. An inductor is the same thing as a coil, is the same thing as a solenoid. Uh, we typically refer to them differently depending on what they are doing. So we are going to start talking about inductance today. Uh, the whole idea of self-inductance is this. One way to look at an inductor is using this analogy. An inductor is like this old crotchety guy, maybe a little bit like me. He's got an L on his shirt. An L is not for loser. L stands for inductor. And this guy works in a factory, and he stands all day by this tube that's filled with fluid. And he just hates any kind of change in current through that tube. So right now, all the water or fluid in the tube is at rest. He's, he's fine. He's like, okay, this is the way it's been. I want it to stay this way. I don't want any change. Then some joker comes along and turns on the source pump, some pump that's going to start moving this water through the tube. And the pump is set up so when you turn it on, this becomes high pressure side and this side becomes low pressure, just like positive and negative of the battery. So that would start to push water through this way. So like a current would want to start going around clockwise. But this guy says, no, I don't want the current to change. So what he does is he turns his inductor pump on so it opposes it. So there's high pressure on this side and low pressure on this side. So for that first instant, he actually prevents any current from flowing. And actually, he's fueled by any changes in current. But soon, this source pump starts winning. And the current starts to get higher and higher and higher through here. However, the rate of change of current starts to decrease and his pump starts getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Or you can think of it as he just starts turning his pump off slowly. And so finally, after really infinite time, he says, all right, I'm, I'm settled then. I'll just deal with this current. This current's going to flow and I'm going to deal with it. And I just want it to stay the same. I just don't want it to change at all. I want the current to be constant. But then all of a sudden, somebody turns off the source pump. And he's like, no, I don't want it to change. So he will start his pump up so that it pushes current this way. So this side will be high pressure, the right side, and the left side will be low pressure so that it keeps the current going. And for that first instant, it will remain the same current. But after a while, the current starts to decay and it goes back down to nothing. And uh, the inductor pump, unfortunately, can never win. It can only fight any changes. So after a while, really infinite time, the current just decays down to nothing. And he's like, all right, I'm, now I'm happy with nothing happening again. I'll just keep it the way it is like this. So in other words, this inductor man, he just hates any change in current. And he will adjust his inductor pump such that changes in current are opposed by an EMF. He tries to fight any change in current.